Moses from Chicago, Illinois. Unique Thompson from Theodore, Alabama. Crystal Prim from West Palm Beach, Florida. And Janaya McKay from Gainesville, Florida have played a lot of minutes for the Tar Heels because the last couple of years, Coach Hatchell has had to go young. Mm -hmm. And so they have a lot of minutes. Beautiful leap pass down the court with an easy layup for Stephanie Watts. Yeah, that's Carolina basketball right there. As Taylor Coonan gets it across the timeline to Shayla Bennett in the first five minutes of the ball game. The Tar Heels shot 50%, five of 10, and they add to it. Inside, Janelle Bailey, Janaya K. K cross courts at baseline, dribble drive off the backboard, no good. And a lead pass down court again. Jalen Murray up off the window, good. I mean, they trap that corner. Really nice adjustment off of it going to the one guard front. Dribble drive into the paint, a little teardrop by Shayla Bennett. It looks like Carolina wants to take this last shot and had the right person take the last shot. Harris Key nails it from 15 feet. Have extended their lead out to nine, and Coach Hatchell wanted to stop that in a hurry. And here's Taylor Coonan for three, and she nails it. That's what you want right there. Now 43-32, and North Carolina hard time breaking that little uh, half-hearted press. Coonan, step back jumper, and she's got five points here in the third quarter. The three seniors just checked back in. I'm wondering if Auburn is now going to look to extend the pressure back up. Good move, the hot hand. Taylor Coonan, seven points here in the third quarter. And so when they keep it close, and you got to be thinking, going into the fourth quarter that the fans will start getting into it a little bit. It's like a home game for North Carolina. Good drive there and one. And one. Nice double pump shot after the open floor steal. Inbounds around the church. Key loading the gun as did. Hey, the big three from the left corner. Stephanie Watts draws the Tigers back to within one. Imari Jones out of Chicago, Illinois. Shawnee Community College. The senior averages 12 points a ball game, but Paris Key counted again. Another quick shot. Let's make sure we're getting high percentage what we want. That's pretty high percentage right there, building yes. that triangle. From the right side this time, Stephanie Watts. All right, we're tied again, under a minute. She has been so aggressive. She has been really, really good here in the fourth and incredibly efficient. Stephanie oh. Watts nails her second three from the right corner. Obviously, she Auburn threw it to the wrong person in a non-scoring area. And Paris Key fouled, no. We're going to overtime. We, Paris Key reached in, knocked that ball away from Janaya McKay, but Erica Camarota said, nope, we're going to let you play it out. I mean, goodness gracious. I mean, when I, the first look she went. Nine she, of 11. Nine of 11. That's a good night. Yes, it is. And a one-handed hanger by Shayla Bennett. She's holding that right hip again. Under 30 seconds, Paris Key for three. It looks like a little short, heel of the rim. Stephanie Watts back to... Shayla Bennett, Bennett for three, bang! That's huge, and they will inbound. They will not advance. They'll inbound, and a foul in the back court. And I got one day, yep. and we need to go and, and play Elon before they go to Christmas break. I mean, they're not even going on Christmas break yet. Three-point shot rips the net. I mean, we're talking about Church. a one-possession game here. <laughs> Leah Church does it from the left corner, and it's rebounded. That's going to do it. Auburn is going to escape with a five-point win over the North Carolina Tar Heels in the Carolinas Challenge, only the seventh loss in Myrtle Beach.